Insurgent Parisan Revolution Nationale, BRN, behind firebomb spree in the south raises the stakes. Deadly attacks which killed one and injured eight were condemned by the government as an outrage but are believed to have been a response to a lack of progress at peace talks being facilitated by Malaysia where the parties last came together on August 1 and 2 in Kuala Lumpur. It is understood the Barisan Revolution Nasional, BRN, want to see more ambitious progress and legal immunity for exiled leaders to return. This month's coordinated firebomb attacks in the southern provinces of Thailand which saw 17 different locations targeted at the same time in the early hours of August 17 with an earlier attack on August 15 is a clear signal to officials in Bangkok that the main insurgent group Barisan Revolution Asianal, BRN, is ready to pursue a scorched earth policy in the region targeting national firms and infrastructure at talks between it and a Thai government panel being held in Malaysia fail to make a breakthrough. Anas Abdul Rahman is the lead negotiator for the Barisan Revolution SENL, BRN, which met the Thai Peace Dialogue panel led by General Wan Lop Rugsan O, oh, a senior security official with Thailand's Ministry of Defense, on August 1 SD-2 ND in Kuala Lumpur and talks being facilitated by Malaysia. It is understood that a stalemate at those talks and a denied request by the insurgent group to have exiled leaders be allowed return home to Thailand may have been the motivation for the August 17 bombing spree and devastation across three Thai provinces Yala, Patani and Naratiwat where 17 different locations were targeted with firebombs. An analyst and former student activist has suggested that the coordinated bombing spree which occurred across the southern provinces in the early hours of Wednesday 17 of August last with an earlier incident on August 15 was the work of the revolutionary group Barisan Revolution Asianal, BRN, and a response to a stalemate in talks between the government and the leadership of the insurgency which are sponsored by Malaysia. Talks between the Kingdom's Peace Dialogue Panel led by General Wan Lop Roxen O, oh, a senior security official with Thailand's Ministry of Defense and the Barisan Revolution Asianal, BRN, took place earlier in August in Kuala Lumpur as part of ongoing negotiations to try to find a way to end the unrest in Thailand's southern provinces which is a decades-old problem going back to 1948 and before that, to the kingdom's annexation of the independent Muslim Kingdom of Patani in 1908-09 and later attempts by the Thai government in Bangkok from the 1940s to introduce Thai administration and customs into the region. Ongoing conflict since 1948 which has seen thousands killed is now the subject of brokered peace talks. The conflict has seen tens of thousands of lives lost since with 6,500 killed alone from 2004 to 2015 and 12,000 injured. There are fears that if the conflict is not solved peacefully, the provinces could become a hotbed for Muslim extremism and ideology especially given the relative economic deprivation of the southern provinces despite ongoing government efforts to promote investment and development of the region. Guerrilla War Waged by the Barusi Revolution Asianal It is understood that at this month's meeting in Malaysia, on August 1-2, Thai negotiators sought a truce or suspension of hostilities from August 15 to November 30 which is related to the Buddhist period of Lent which runs from July 14 to October 10. Barisan Revolution Asianal, BRN, sought ambitious progress as well as immunity for exiled leaders. However, the Barisan Revolution Asianal, BRN, which was represented in Kuala Lumpur by Anas Abdul Rahman and two other observers, is understood to have been looking for a more permanent ceasefire in the removal of military positions and defensive dispositions throughout the region including checkpoints. The Barisan Revolution Asianal, BRN, also demanded that its representatives and leaders exiled abroad be given immunity from prosecution so that they can visit the southern provinces to hold discussions and forums with local communities in the region. In addition to the problem that the security services now face due to the attacks on August 17, there are also concerns about other insurgency groups such as the Patani United Liberation Organization, PULO, believed to be behind a bomb attack in Patani province in April this year. Outrageous and lethal firebomb attack was to vent frustration at the lack of progress in Kuala Lumpur Mr. Tuwiduni Yatubamanji is a former member of the Federation of Patani Student and Youth. This week. Speaking with the Bangkok Post newspaper, he explained that he thought the coordinated attacks with prior warning to avoid casualties on Wednesday, the 17th of August during which unfortunately it later emerged one person was killed when he found himself trapped in a store that was firebombed, were an attempt by the Barisan Revolution Asianal, BRN, to vent its frustration at the lack of progress in the talks with the government and to warn those in authority.
The BRN was putting out the message that it has tried its best to move the peace process along only to run into a brick wall put up by the Thai side, Mr. Tawidunia explained. Talks may be going nowhere, that is what the insurgents fear and why they lashed out this month. He said it was a signal to the government that the talks are not going anywhere and any future fallout because of the breakdown would be something officials in Bangkok must bear responsibility for. With the Thai peace talk team unresponsive to its call, the movement feels it has no choice but resort to violent means to retaliate, he said. The attacks on August 17 targeted 17 different locations in Yala, Patani, and Narati Wat. The attacks saw bombs, planted at 7-Eleven convenience stores at PTT petrol stations and Big C stores, go off while in other instances, attackers left firebombs in stores while giving warnings or used motorbikes to throw incendiary devices while passing, across the three southern provinces at the same time. Charred body of 21-year-old victim found in a 7-Eleven store in Narati Wat, failed to get out in time. Later, on the 17th of August, the charred body of 21-year-old Masa Rich Mama of Sungai Kalak in Narati Wat was found near the fire exit of a 7-Eleven store located at a PTT station in Tampin Pays Mat. It is thought that he had hidden beneath displays while an attacker placed an incendiary device in the store and urged shoppers to flee for their lives. Investigating police surmised that he was unable to open the secondary exit and perished when the fire engulfed the store. His family had filed a missing person report in the aftermath of the fire but Mr. Masarich's remains were only found as security services began to go through the wreckage looking for clues as part of an investigation ordered to hunt down those responsible. Attacker dressed as a Muslim woman left a bomb on a counter and told shoppers to run for their lives. At least eight other people sustained an injury in the attacks but it is understood that the economic damage suffered as a consequence of the operations carried out with precision and which appeared to target large franchise like national enterprises, was the real message to the government. A similar incident occurred in Yala province at 11.50 p.m. on Tuesday, August 16 when an attacker disguised in the clothing of a Muslim woman placed the bomb on the counter of another convenience store and urged shoppers to run for their lives. A PTT petrol station and convenience store in Patani's Nung Chik district was completely razed to the ground while other targets suffered less catastrophic damage. Barisan Revolution SENL BRN, described locations targeted as symbols of state-backed capitalism. In the aftermath of the attacks which a spokesman for Prime Minister Prachan Ocha described as an outrage senior security officials were slow to acknowledge that the wave of destruction was the work of the Burisan Revolution ASEANL, BRN, although one source described it as an attack on state power in the region. This was confirmed by a statement from the insurgent group which described the targets chosen as a symbol of state-backed capitalism in the southern provinces. This also implies that there was an economic and propaganda message behind this month's attacks which focused on national franchise chains and the Thai state-owned oil company, PTT. The terror group's message appears to have been well targeted at popular national commercial chains which may be seen as threatening local business operators thus creating further division and alienation. Chamber of Commerce leader explains the importance of small retailers and grocery outlets in Yala province. This week, the chairman of the Yala Chamber of Commerce, Kampong Lim Kankana, emphasized the importance of small grocery and retail outlets in the local provincial economy. He described the larger national chains as a threat to smaller grocery stores in rural areas which he described as a financial necessity for many small and less well-off communities in the region. He said the larger franchised stores, controlled by behemoth operators, were seen as wielding superior power over smaller operators throughout local communities and that this could become another factor in fostering discontent in the region. The 7-Eleven chain is ubiquitous in Thailand with over 12,000 stores and employs over 170,000 people in the kingdom while PTT, the state-owned oil company, plays a vital role in maintaining price stability in the kingdom with a turnover of 1.75 trillion reported in 2016. The company had confirmed revenue of 237.17 billion in the first half of 2021 making it Thailand's largest corporate earner.